Welcome you to Tuesday morning, everybody. I'm Rita Garcia. It's great to see you. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jacob Resco. Let's welcome in Elita Loresca on yet another kind of muggy day this morning. And it's going to stay muggy around here. We don't have any sort of humidity relief, guys, until the weekend when our next strong cold front moves through. We do have a cold front pressing across the northern parts of the state. Moisture is gathering out ahead of that front. Right now, we've got some very soupy conditions. The fog, no doubt, could impact some of your uh, visibility this morning that early morning commute and mixed in with some of that fog we've got some mist and also some rain some legitimate rain to track on 13 alert radar but first I want to start off with the visibility areas south of I-10 that's where we're seeing a little bit more widespread clouds low ceiling of clouds poor visibility there also out on the east side of town and starting to see some of that fog developing out toward the hill country but as far as dense fog advisories this morning does not include inland areas, most areas down along the coastline under that dense fog advisory through 10 o'clock this morning. Here's a look at 13 alert radar. A lot of the focus with these showers and thunderstorms along a cold front that is well to the north of our area, at some point stalling, not moving very quickly. But those showers and thunderstorms, they are on the strong side, severe thunderstorms right now with a cluster of these th storms just to the south of Tyler. The reason I monitor these thunderstorms because there's a chance Chance that a couple of these thunderstorms could form a boundary and move toward southeast Texas. Let me show you a future track. Those thunderstorms to our north, I put this into motion, and you can see those cluster storms start to sag southward into the Lake Livingston area and then perhaps even dive further southward into Liberty and Beaumont as we approach mid to late morning during the afternoon hours. So we're not completely in the clear, although the activity this morning on 13 alert radar is nothing too significant. We'll be monitoring that on this election day for some wet weather, mainly during the morning hours with those rain chances falling below 20% this afternoon. There is a higher chance that temperature readings in your neighborhood will be challenging records, forecasting a record breaking high of 86 degrees today at Bush Airport. The record to break is 84. I'll let you know how long these record breaking temperatures stick around coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Alita, thank you. Just a devastating story for that family. We are certainly thinking of them. 435 right now in a Houston nonprofit that's helped thousands of homeless and recovering addicts for more than seven decades could be in danger of shutting its doors. Well, in other news, the U.S. Supreme Court has temporarily blocked Texas from enforcing the immigration law known as SB4. And as we say, happy Tuesday, friends. It's great to see you. I'm Rita Garcia. We made it. I'm Jacob Rascone. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We bring in Alita Loresco with uh, some rain chances now. Yes, we've got some rain chances for today, guys. The rain chances mostly in the morning and then slowly start to taper off by this afternoon. Got our next cold front on the way and it delivers some cooler weather. I'll have the details in the timeline coming up. Looking forward to that. Several people are dead after a small plane crashed while trying to make an emergency landing in Nashville. Welcome back, everyone. It's 525, and we're waiting to find out if anyone will face charges after a three-year-old was seriously injured in an Uber crash. Also, some of ABC 13's biggest movie lovers made their picks for who they want to win big on Oscar Sunday, and you can play along for a chance to win prizes at abc13.com. These are their picks for Best Supporting Actor. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday. I'm Jacob Rascone. Samika is off this morning. Welcome to it, everybody. I'm Rita Garcia. Let's check in with our meteorologist, Alita Loresca. We've got a mixed bag of things out there. Um, Showers fog. and fog this morning, Rita, for sure. A live look outside, and you can see. Otherwise, this afternoon, we're talking about some record-breaking warmth. High somewhere in the mid to upper 80s. But we've got another cold front to talk about later on this week that will bring in a humidity drop and some cooler temperatures. I'll have those details coming up. Tuesday, polls will open in less than two hours from our primary election here in Texas. And ABC 13's Courtney Cook. Okay, we'll say go Cougs for Samika Knight, right? Because right. she's out today. Why not? It's always fun. I'm Rita Garcia. That's how we're starting off the morning, you guys. We made it. It's Tuesday. Thank you for joining us on yet another muggy yes. day yeah. with some rain chances. Yes, another muggy day.
<laughs> Welcome back at the bottom of the hour here on this Super Tuesday. It's great to see you, friends. I'm Rita Garcia. Happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining us. Alita, so foggy out there. It is. Yeah. It is foggy. We've got some... All right, checking in with Alita. It is 645, and it is... Ugly out there. It's ugly. ugly, warm. We almost hit a record yesterday. Oof. I know you care about these things. I do. <laughs> you do. I don't want record highs. <laughs> I know. This time of year, you're like, I could just ditch the record highs. Unfortunately, we're going for records for today. In addition to those numbers, how about the rain chances for? For today. They are low, but they are there. It's not at zero. We've got a 30% chance for some wet weather, mainly during the daytime hours, uh, really this morning. And then by the afternoon, we've got some drier air blowing in. So it is going to allow temperatures to warm quite easily in the mid to upper 80s. And then looking ahead toward later on this week, we've got a cold front and that's going to deliver some widespread showers and thunderstorms yet again. But it should dry us out just in time for the weekend. Speaking about the storms this morning, most of those storms have been confined well to our north in and around Texarkana, Lufkin, up toward Shreveport. But over the next couple of hours, there's a storm complex that I'll be watching just east of I-45, kind of in this vicinity here around Lake Livingston, where those thunderstorms could be on the strong side. They could pack some strong winds, even some hail. We've seen some history of that with some of the strong thunderstorms that have been blowing through the Lufkin and up toward the Shreveport area. Things have certainly been fairly quiet across much of southeast Texas, but you can see here these cluster of thunderstorms bringing just some heavy rain along with some strong winds. It's the tail end of this little storm complex here that I'll be watching because future track is showing that it could it's kind of sweep across the uh, across San Jacinto, Polk County over the next couple of hours and dive a little bit further toward the south. So by mid to late morning, the majority of that storm complex or that boundary that it's going to send in our direction is fizzling out and looking at mostly dry conditions for the rest of the day. We are going to be monitoring some fog as well, and that fog has spread further inland. So now we've got a few more counties under a dense fog advisory, mainly south and west of Houston. So along 59, traveling toward Wharton County, Colorado County, headed westbound on I-10 is where we're seeing some of the worst of that fog developing. You can see the ceiling of clouds continuing to lower. Now we're seeing more of those buildings, uh, more of that real estate starting to be covered as far as the low clouds are concerned. Also down along the island where some of that fog has actually lifted, upper 60s to low 70s with afternoon highs in the mid to upper 80s. That's why right. we're going to be challenging some records. We came close to the record yesterday. And then overnight lows will be dipping in the low to mid 60s, but we've got a little bit of a boundary. And behind that boundary, there could be some cooler, some drier air here on the northwest side of town. Meanwhile, this uh, tomorrow afternoon temperature reading still in the mid 80s. We'll start to see those changes with that cold front. That cold front brings in some widespread showers, some thunderstorms overnight Thursday into Friday. A couple of those storms could be on the strong side, especially across the Brazos Valley late Thursday night into Friday. So we'll have to see whether or not those storms manage to make its way here into Houston. But we will be cooler and breezy over the weekend with temperatures dipping into the upper 40s first thing Sunday morning, afternoon highs in the upper 60s. And don't forget, officially 2 a.m. on Sunday, you're going to want to spring forward. Yes, said yes. nobody.